Hi, I'm Dr. Doug. I want to welcome you to the video today. We're going to be talking about kids and headaches. And now, while headaches in children are, I would say, common, they're not normal. I always want to specify that a symptom is not a normal thing. It's, it can be common based on our culture today. So, you know, what is a symptom? What, what, is, a, what is a headache? Um, if I cut my arm, you know, I'm going to have some pain. It's going to be a, a symptom Let me know there's a problem. If there's a, let's say, a fire in my house, then I would hope that my fire detector goes off, you know, the fire alarm to, to let me know there's a problem. If I took the alarm down, took the batteries out, took the alarm back up, the, the alarm wouldn't go off if there was a fire, right? So the, the alarm is just like an indicator, a sign that there is a problem. And so now that we know there's a fire going on, we need to put it out. The headache's very similar. It's just letting me know that there's an issue, that there's a problem within the body. It's kind of screaming at me to let me know there's something going on and that we need to take care of that and find the cause of it. So masking a headache in your children with, you know, Tylenol or Advil or some kind of prescription drug is not usually the right answer. Um, so we need to look to the cause of the problem within the headaches in children and help the children to feel better naturally. That's kind of the goal with chiropractic. So when we're talking about headaches in kids, I, I want you to, if you didn't watch the first video, of Introduction to Chiropractic, Went to a Chiropractic, go back and watch that. There's some information on neurology that we want to cover. So I'm just going to do a little review. Um, the review is that the brain controls everything. So, for instance, if I want my brain to tell my heart what to do, and it, it does, then I need to get a message from here to here. And it does so through the spinal cord and the nerves that get the message to the body. So the spinal cord and nerves are like the communication network. The brain is the central computer sending information everywhere. So, so here it is. Here's your spinal cord and nerves. So inside the bones here, the spinal cord is that yellow thing running all the way down to the bottom. Up here would be the brain, obviously, sitting inside the skull. And messages travel down and they come out the nerve to the specific, specific organ or, or system it needs to go to. Now, the brain is protected by the skull. You see part of it here. And the spinal cord and nerves are protected by the 24 movable bones of the spine. These are actually the hardest bones of the body which would make sense that the hardest bones protect the one system that communicates to the other systems of the body. So, just a review real quick, when the spinal bones get out of position, and they can move out of their proper position, it can put direct pressure on the nerve, causing discomfort and, and pain, okay? Again, remember that pain is just indicating, indicating there's a problem, so the problem here would be that the subluxation or misalignment of the spine is there, putting pressure on the nerve, causing the pain, so we would want to remove that pressure. Okay, so misalignment of the spine in the upper neck here can cause direct pressure on this nerve and these nerves in this area, the first two to three bones right in this area. Direct pressure on these nerves can cause pain, you know, in the back of the head, behind the eye, uh, causing a lot of headache type symptoms and can, can, and can cause a headache. So a lot of people say maybe the head feels like it's getting compressed or somebody's inside the head trying to push out. You know, kids maybe just crying and, and if they're young, kind of crying and telling you there's a problem. The uh, older kid maybe will tell you actually that their head hurts, okay? But the actual pain in most cases with headaches is just coming from the upper two to three bones being out of their proper position, putting direct pressure on that nerve, causing their head discomfort and pain. So as a chiropractor, our job would be to assess this area of the spine, make sure there's no actual misalignment, and if there is, make a correction very gently to restore the motion, take pressure off the nerve, and relieve the pain. And that's, that's kind of the simple aspect of chiropractic with kids and headaches. So a lot of people say, well, Dr. Duck, how, how would my kid even get a subluxation of the neck that might be causing pressure on the nerve to cause their headaches? Uh, we could start with the birth process. You know, having witnessed my daughter's birth, that is not an easy process, and most moms would agree that birth is not an easy thing. So going through that birth canal can create some irritation of the upper neck, can create that subluxation from day one of life, and can lead to some discomfort later on, or maybe right then at birth, you know, because how does a baby let you know there's a problem? They cry, right? And maybe they don't have that right there, maybe it's developed through years later down the road, through a couple years later, and they, they can actually tell you that their head is hurting. So something like the birth process can create subluxation, creating headaches. Something like uh, poor posture. So if you look here, I'm in pretty good posture. Uh, my upper back is straight, my head is on top of my shoulders. But if I was to drop my shoulders, naturally you saw my head just dropped as well. Now I don't want to look down, I want to look up, so my head's going to do this. Well, that puts a lot of strain on my neck. So what do we see kids do today? You know, they're always video gaming or texting or iPadding or something of that nature. Their posture is horrible. And we need to really focus on good posture. So I just wanted to show you an example of this. This is a bowling ball. It's about the weight of a human adult head, 10 to 12 pounds. Now if you look here, I'm going to hold this ball here 
because I have a, a bend in my wrist and all the weight of the ball is going down into my arm down here and so it's really not that heavy for me at all. But if I start to lose the curve in my wrist, now I'm requiring all my forearm muscles and hand muscles to hold this ball up. And this ball starts to get really heavy. It actually triples in weight. Now that's very similar to this curve in the neck. So right here is a curve in the neck. It's supposed to be like a kind of the curve of a banana. And your skull sits right up here, your brain. And when the curve is there, everything functions normally. I mean, there's no pressure on the nerves. Everything feels good. And when we get bad posture, as children do, we start to lose this curve. But we can put a lot of pressure on the nerve, a lot of irritation. We can cause a lot of subluxations, a lot of irritation on the nerve, causing headaches and discomfort like that. So, you know, older children really want to focus on good posture. We want to help them to understand that posture is important. And, and a younger kid, maybe the birth process, they're learning to walk or falling off their bicycle. These could be a lot of the causes that create the subluxations within the neck, causing pressure on the nerve and discomfort in children. So. I want you to know that while headaches are very common today because of our culture and because of bad posture and because of maybe some interventions at birth, they are normal and that your kids don't deserve to have that kind of discomfort and they're definitely something that we could do or at least determine if we can help them. We have some very specialized technology that is able to assess your child's spine very gently, very naturally, no pain, it just reads what's going on internally, doesn't put anything into them like radiation, so it's very natural. It's just able for me to determine uh, what's going on. If, if indeed chiropractic is good for them, we always say we don't guess, we test, and that's something that I use faithfully to determine if I'm going to be able to help that child. So if you know anybody or your kids that need some relief from chiropractic care, to get some headaches to go away, to never have to really deal with that in their future, I would strongly suggest you try our office and give us a call.